Hi everybody. Okay, so ah, I'm gonna sit down. So today I am going to, it's another one of my do piercing hurt, do piercings hurt videos and we're doing it on medusas or philtrums, whatever you want to call them. Um, all right, so the story of my medusa. Uh, January of this year, so January 2010, I was sitting watching a movie with my friend in her house and I was just looking on the internet because I'm obsessed with just looking up piercings online and I don't know why but I saw a Medusa piercing that just looked so good on this girl. I'd seen them before and I was like, eh, okay, they're nice, but it looked so good on her so I kept looking for like uh, I, so I started looking more at Medusa piercings, and I just saw some and how phenomenal they looked. Um, I just loved how, like, adorable they were just sitting in the, like, the little dip above your lip and stuff. And they were so cute. And I decided right that night that I had to have one. I had thought about getting them before, um, and they were nice, you know, just not, you know. I always wanted angel bites and cheap piercings and... You know, those were the ones I desperately wanted. And eventually, you know, my septum. And I love my snake bites and stuff. But I've never been that eager about a Medusa. And I just, this night, I decided I had, 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 had to have my Medusa pierced. So I grabbed my clamps and my needles. I use uh, Monster Point needles. Here, actually, I think I have them with me right here. I'm going to show you what kind of needles I use. No, those are my 18 gauge needles. My six, well, actually, I use 15 gauge needles. Yep, Monster Point needles. These ones I used. Um, I got them in a pack of 100. See? My needles, beautiful. Um, and I got my clamps. Those are my septum clamps. I did not use septum clamps. I'll be here, right here. My clamp. Um, I wish I'd gotten one that. I had like a dip in there so I could take it off easier, but I didn't. I get what I get. Um, so I put it on there, grabbed a hoop. I had a hoop at first. That's what I used because I didn't have any like studs that I wanted to use. So I pierced it and it's perfectly centered. On the inside, it's a little bit off center, but I pierced it out to in because I I'm a visual perfectionist. Um, I need my piercings to look perfect. So I pierce them out to in so I know exactly how they're going to look on the outside. So this is what I ended up with. I'm going to post some pictures. I think I have some pictures of the needle in my lip. So if I can find those, I'll put those at the end of the video. Otherwise, or and also I'm just going to post some like when I, you know, first had it pierced, just some photos that really focus on my Medusa. Um, some people don't like calling it a Medusa. Some people have to call it a philtrum piercing. You know, I'm perfectly happy using street terms for piercings. So this is my Medusa. And these are snake bites, not double labrettes. And these are angel bites, not double Monroes or whatever you want to call them. Uh, this is my Medusa piercing. And... So again, in Medusa, piercing hurt a little more than an angel bite. Um, it's in an area of the face, so like right here and then up in your nose, anywhere in here. There's lots of, um, not like tear ducts, but like it's super sensitive area, so it's going to make your eyes water. So yes, my eyes water. Um, it wasn't because of pain. It wasn't because I was crying. It was just because that was a nat that's a natural reaction that happens with the Medusa piercing. So, um, on pain scale, I'd say it was a 5. Again, we haven't gotten any of the really painful ones. Yet. But, uh, yeah, on the pain scale, it was a 5. It wasn't too painful. Didn't feel great. It was mostly just uncomfortable. Um, um, yeah, it didn't hurt too bad. The part that hurt the most was when it came out the bottom on the inside. The inside of your mouth, like, I don't know, the tissue is a lot more sensitive than the outside of your mouth. 
but uh yeah not too bad so medusa piercings do not hurt that much they look really pretty especially if you have like a beautiful like a really pretty shaped lip um and like a natural little dip in there then a medusa just looks adorable sitting in there so medusa piercings um they look good on some people they don't look good on absolutely everybody you just have to you know maybe just set a stud there and just kind of look at it take some pictures I know some people like do photo editing where they edit the piercing onto themselves see how they look and stuff I'm not that savvy with uh, Photosmart so or Photoshop <laughs> Photosmart sorry I'm thinking about Photosmarts because of this stupid old printer down here and yesterday I had to I spent two hours downloading new info for it and I had to go buy a new cable and so my Photosmart printer has been driving me nuts um oh Exciting news. I talked to my tattoo artist a bunch yesterday, and hopefully over Christmas I'm going to get a lot of the line work done for my sleeve, and I'm going to get my knuckles done. My husband and I are getting more matching tattoos. We have lots of matching tattoos, but I'm going to get my knuckles done, and he's going to get a star on his back, because he, he's got like a pretty piece in the middle. It's like a marine piece, but uh, it's got wings on it, so it's pretty. In the middle of his back, and then a, like he has one of these on his shoulder except it's got red hair because it's me but he's getting a star on the other shoulder to kind of even his back out because right now he looks lopsided but yeah so hopefully more tattoos soon and also I'm totally addicted to piercings and I haven't gotten any in a really long time so here's what I'm thinking about um I just want people's vote uh people to vote hear your guys opinions and I don't want anyone who doesn't want me to get piercings to vote on it like yeah, natural is beautiful, whatever. Don't call me cluttered. I know I have lots of facial piercings, but there are a shit ton more people out there with a shit ton more piercings than I have. So, if all you have to say is that my face is already cluttered and no more piercings, zip your lip, because I don't really want to hear it, you know? Um, but, so, uh, I was thinking about a bridge, but I don't know. Um, spider bites right next to my snake bites, so double spider bites, a uh, vertical labret, a uh, regular labret, uh, what else am I thinking about? Dahlias? I was thinking about doing dahlias. Um, but yeah, basically those are the options I'm weighing now because those are ones that I know how to do and I can do on my own. Um, I want to get venoms but they look like they hurt so I'm a little scared um anyway does vote on what you think I should get pierced next um and for my next does it hurt video which I'm probably gonna do right after this one yay nostrils because I've had my nose pierced twice once on each side uh, once my senior year and once like this May neither of them are still in as you can tell because I had an evil piercer do my second one, and I did my first one on my own, and I just didn't have time to take care of it at the time, so. Mm. Anyway, so, next time, we're talking about nostril piercings. Alright, that's all I have to say for now. Bye, guys.